Hello, my name is Marcus and we're going to be talking about setting up uh, a mod for the people that have never done it before. It's going to be real easy stuff, real easy stuff. Uh, nice and simple. What we're going to be covering is basically we're going to have a look at PK4 files. Uh, we're going to create a mod folder so you can store all your custom uh, textures and models and everything inside there and keep everything separate. We're going to have a look at definition files and tweak them and you know manipulate them. Then we're going to finally uh, create a maps folder so you can save and compile and run all your maps uh, outside of the base folder and keep everything nice and out of the way of uh, Doom 3. Okay, so I'm going to go straight uh, into Doom 3 program files, Doom 3 and go into the base folder. Now you'll see these pack 0, 0, 0, pack 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Basically these are just zip files and uh, they're in a PK4 format. Uh, if you download WinZip WinRAR you'll open them up just fine. And I'm going to just double click this and get lost. Right, you'll see all these uh, folders and these are the components that make up Doom 3. Uh, you've got your uh, textures, sounds, uh, GUIs, uh, 3D models, uh, monsters, you name it. Everything, but they're all, and they're all split up uh, amongst these different pack files. Okay. Now I'm going to close that, get rid of that, and uh, go back. And to get the ball rolling, we're going to create your mod file. Click on that. And basically, this is uh, whatever your mod's going to be called. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to call mine uh, uh, the best damn mod on the net. Nest net. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. So uh, now at the moment, that Doom 3 will not see that because it's just a rogue empty file, and you don't want Doom 3 picking up loads of empty files uh, and thinking that the mods when they're not. Uh, so to sort of activate this, what we first need to do is go back into the base folder, and this is what I like to do. There's probably different ways of doing it, uh, but open up Pack 000, and you'll spot a folder called Death open that up. Now all these are definition files. Uh, everything in the game pretty much has a definition file in here. Uh, 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 models, weapons, uh, items, uh, you know, medikits, armor, everything. Everything's got it. And we're going to be playing around with weapons. I don't know. That's, that's going to be exciting. This is going to be good. So open up your mods folder that you've created, and you always create your mods folder outside of the base, yeah, in Doom 3, okay? So open up your mods folder, and hunt down the in the pack 00 file in the def folder for weapon pistol .def, and drag that over. Now it's copied it over, it's not removed it, so that's good. Get rid of that. See you later, pal. Now we're going to open up this def file. If you haven't opened one up before, it'll ask, uh, you know. Uh, to search the web or pick a program. Notepad will do ev just about everything. Now all this stuff, it looks like crazy speak, but uh, they're all pretty much just pointing to uh, weapon models, uh, light wave objects, uh, MD5 animations, stuff like that that you can ignore until you start bringing in your own uh, stuff. And we're going to be doing that in the later tutorials. Uh, we're going to be bringing in new medikits armor bullets, ammo, you name it. But what I will change at the moment is we're going to be playing around with the damage. Now if you wanted your zombies to be pretty pretty damn hard then uh, I'd put this down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to 200. Oh yeah, this is crazy stuff. And uh, so that's going to kill things outright pretty damn easily. And then I'm going to change something else. Clip size. I'm going to put that down to 6, and that's basically, not 16, 6. And that, that's like how many bullets you can store in a clip before you need to reload. So if you were going to make a 6 shooter, that's this is where you'd make the changes. Uh, that's good. 
Uh, I'm going to change the recoil angle because this is a pretty damn powerful gun. I'm not surprised it won't break your wrist. So I'm going to change this to minus 50 and I don't know 50. I'm just making this up, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be weird. It's going to we're going to see what happens. It should go all over the place hopefully. And I'm going to save this because everything's everything's fine. We've only made a few changes. Close this down. Now if I go if I go into the base folder, you stay where you are. And I go into the pack zero zero file, and you'll notice that the definition get lost. You'll notice that the definition files are in a folder called def. Now we need to mimic this file stack uh, in your own pack files. Uh, so we're going to be making a def folder and putting that in a in a pack file. So we go back into the mod folder, and first of all we'll create a folder and call it def. And we'll whack that in there. Lovely jubbly. Now we need to put this in a its own little uh, PK4 file. So I'm going to click on it and uh, right click and add to archive. And you'll get your little sort of zip up uh, window. Uh, if you have if you have them both, which I recommend, uh, you'll get some extra options. And I'm going to click on zip and best compression size. Now. I've not talked about the naming of the pack files, but you might have noticed that the pack files are 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or at least I think I have actually. And we need to name ours in a similar in a similar kind of fashion. So what we're gonna do is call it pack and we're gonna call it 020. Now you can name your pack files with any number as long as they're not the same as the numbers in the original uh, base folder so you know 0 020 is fine you could have 0 050 100 I don't know 300 uh, 666 uh, everything and as long as the next pack file is uh, like the next pack file here would be 0 uh, 2 one, so it'd be zero twenty one, and then zero twenty two, and so forth. If your pack file was zero fifty, the next one would be fifty one, fifty two. So this is, you, you, I know you're understanding it just about. So what I'm going to do is delete the zip extension, and I'm going to add pk four. So it is pack zero two zero dot pk four, and I'm just going to OK this. OK. And da -da, it's there, it's there, it's there, it's there, it's there. So that's great. I'm going to delete this def folder because it's it's in there now. It's nice and secure. The last thing I'm going to do is add a folder and call this maps. Okay. In the base folder, you've got a maps uh, folder where you can store single player, multiplayer maps. Uh, but basically, it's the same here. Instead of saving your maps in there, you're going to be saving them in here and compiling them in here and, and storing your scripts in here and you know so everything's nice and separate and eventually you can just zip this up whack it on the net and you're sorted so now that I've made this pk4 file with a definition uh, folder in it uh, Doom 3 will recognize it It'll, oh there's, there's something there, there's something there so I'm gonna load up Doom 3 Load up, load up, load up. Take some time. Oh, like I said, this is real simple, basic uh, stuff. Uh, just to get your, your your mod set up and ready, ready to go, raring to go. Now, what I'm going to do is load up, uh, select the mods, and you'll see it. There it is. Best damn mod on the net. That's superb. Uh, that's half the battle. So what I'm going to do is click on load mod, and it jumps out of the game, and it'll jump back in. That's no problem. Uh, and there's some cracking mods being made at the moment as well, which is good. Uh, it looks like it's not loaded the mod up, but in fact it has. Uh, don't worry about it. It's just because we haven't got a custom GUI main menu. Yeah, don't let it worry you. Uh, and before we leave, I'm going to click in system and switch this to full screen off. People that have loaded the editor before know that you've got to be in a window mode. I'm going to exit this. Okay. I'm going to load, open up your 
mods folder and you'll notice that since you load up Doom 3 it's created all these files uh, this is a, a good thing trust me what we're going to look at is the Doom config CFG file uh, let's double click on that and if you've not loaded this up before either then just use notepad what this is is basically a text format of your option screen now if you made a custom main menu which we will do soon a very basic main menu may I add uh, and that we've not attached a main men uh, a, a, an option screen to it so you can't get to the option screen but you know you want to see you, what your game looks like in full screen mode and you can't get to that button to switch it on you do everything in here you can show frames per second which is good uh, for a, you know near the end of a map and you want to keep look at your frame rate uh, you can uh, uh, show HUD where you can hide the uh, the little aim re reticule and uh, your health bar and everything like that. Uh, what else is there? And full screen mode. So if I switch this one, which is on, if I switch that on, the our mod would load up full screen. Uh, but I don't want to do that, so I'm going to leave it as zero. Uh, file save. Close that down, and that's pretty much it. That's that's your mod. At its, at its very basic level. Now what I'm going to do is, just to show you what kind of changes we made to the definition file, I'm going to load up Doom 3. Uh, this is real basic stuff, I can't stress how basic this stuff is, but it, it you know, just to get, for people that haven't made a mod before, this is a good beginning. And um, we're going to be doing more complicated stuff later. And like I said before, there's some great tutorials out there, uh, and there's some great mods being made. Uh, look at the uh, any mod related w websites will have links to their websites and some of them are looking great. I keep my eyes open. Uh, always select your mod from the main menu before you go into the editor because if you have custom textures and models and you've made a level and you accidentally go straight into the editor from Doom 3 and load up the editor and then load up your map you'll find that just everything's black and your models won't load up and nothing will happen and that's why so I'm going to bring down the console uh, editor uh, oops said uh, easy how do you spell editor <laughs> right okay get rid of that alrighty bring that down here that down a little bit. I'm just changing the layout because uh, you'll find that if you've already used the editor before and you've got your layout how you want it, if you're playing with a new mod then it's going to be all strange. I'm going to get rid of that. People aren't going to like me for getting rid of that but uh, I'm going to get rid of it because I just prefer a bit more uh, architectural space to work in. Now I'm going to create a, a quick room just to show you this dev file. Uh, there's plenty of tutorials out there uh, for like how to make the first room, how to make the first room. I'm not going to do that uh, because there's plenty of brilliant mods out there, and uh, I'm not going to humour anybody by by doing anything like that. So uh, I and I think most people that want to make a mod have a fair understanding about the editor before they take the next plunge. So I'm going to drop that down. Just keep this. One. I, I don't need to do that. It's only a cube, right? Uh, uh, shift, Control, and Alt these walls. Da -da -da. I'm going to select. Uh, oh, uh, base wall. That'll do. That'll do. I'm going to select ground. Oh, come on, there we go. Select the ceiling, uh, base floor. There we go. Uh, and stick in a quick play start. Quick play start. Info player start. Make sure he's facing the way I want. Make sure he's not in the ground. 
because that will cause you problems. And you'll be posting in the forums. <laughs> I'm going to stick in a light. <laughs> there we go. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just to show off the death file. I'm going to stick in a monster. It's going to be a fat zombie. He's going to be a fat bloke. There we go. Stick his fat ass there. And I'm going to make sure he's looking away, because I don't want him to jump into action when he sees us. Ooh, nice. Okay, now file save as. Now, you can now save your maps in your mod folder, ma in the maps folder. And I'm going to call this junk, because it just, just is junk. <laughs> save, and uh, run the old BSP. Ding! And then I'm going to uh, press F2, bring down the console, map, uh, junk, press enter. And there it is. I'm going to bring out the pistol. Ooh, ah, six bullets in the clip, which is good, which is what we set. Sneak up to this guy. Watch the recoil. Whoa! A one hit death. Check out that recoil. Whoa! That's nice. Now you can have some real fun with the definition file. Some real fun with the definition file. Well, this was that was the uh, tutorial. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed it anyway. <laughs>